here you are at last, in the very heart of literary Edinburgh. Macker's Court, the centre of Lady Stair's Close, home of the Writers' Museum. It celebrates the lives of three Scottish writers. You'll have heard of them, I'll wager. There's Robert Burns, the ploughman poet who wrote Auld Lang Syne, which I'm sure you were singing to Hansel in the New Year. There's Walter Scott, author of Waverley, which was a novel before it was a railway station. You'll maybe have seen the film of Rob Roy. Not the one with lovely Liam Neeson. I'm talking about the old black and white one. Well, maybe not. And there's Robert Louis Stevenson, as well as Jekyll and Hyde. He gave us Treasure Island with Long John Silver and Blind Pew and Jim Hawkins, the cabin boy. Characters we all know from a story that's been adapted for every medium in the known universe. Have you noticed what they've got in common? Look at the ground beneath your feet. You're walking on words. The words of Scottish writers down the ages. Quotations from their poems, their stories, their essays. Look more closely. What do you see? Can you count? We're outnumbered eight or nine to one. For every woman writer who said something worth carving into a slab of sandstone, there are eight or nine men represented here in Macker's Court. Anyone would think that women had nothing to say for themselves. Wrong. Are you beginning to wonder who I am? I'll tell you. I was born right here where you're standing, in Lady Stairs Close. My name is Susan Edmonston Ferrier. You're none the wiser, are you? I am. I was, I suppose I must say, since I've been dead since 1854. A writer. My first novel, Marriage, was a vivid and wryly satirical account of Scottish social life, containing acerbic views about marriage and women's education. It was published seven years after Jane Austen's debut. According to my Wikipedia page, my books form a trilogy, an extended inquiry on the subjects of nation, history and the evolution of female consciousness. As if the thousands of readers who read my books gave a damn about that. What matters is that they loved the stories I wrote. They adored my characters and their adventures. I know this because they told me so. If Twitter had been invented, I'd have had a blue tick and a damn sight more followers than Walter Scott. But instead, like so many of my sisters, I disappeared. Who killed us off? <laughs> Who rubbed us out of the picture? Who decided the Walters and the Roberts and the Jameses and the rest of them should get all the limelight? The critics. <laughs> well, tonight, I'm back from the other side to set things right. I'm here to put the women back where they belong, front and centre. Tonight, it's time for resurrection. For resurrection and revenge. <laughs>